Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you're probably looking for a way to record your screen on a Mac if you're a Mac user. So I'm going to show you all the technical stuff behind it, all the different types of softwares that you can use and how I actually record on my screen um, every single day pretty much for a lot of my YouTube videos. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm always coming with content that will teach you how to be more successful using the internet, how to make more money using the internet. So consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell notification uh, so that you get notified every time we come up with a brand new video, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen right now and um, you're going to be able to see, uh, I'll give you an example of recording your screen, right? So this is actually a, a video that I did. I'm just going to play it for two seconds so that you can see, right? It's, it's called, called Free, free cash, cash and you're, and you're wondering, wondering, can you, can make, you make free, free cash, cash from, from this website? website. How so what I regularly do is I make videos uh, and I do reviews and I record my screen. I do a lot of instructional things, tutorials, and a lot of the time I'm recording my screen like this. Sometimes I just record the screen, sometimes I show my face. Um, and there are different kind of combinations that you can use and you might want to do that for whatever you want. I'm not so sure uh, you know, exactly why you want to record your screen but there might be many many reasons. Um, I do it to generate income using the internet and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video if you're interested in something like that. But to record your screen there's a few different ways that you can do it. All right. So the first way is I'm going to show you a free piece of software that you can use whether you're a Mac user or a PC user. Okay. So the first thing is you just go to Google and you type out Monosnap, all right, M-O-N-O-S-N-A-P, Monosnap. This is a great little tool here, and I'm just going to click into the tool, and this is a free tool. So again, if you're a Mac user or PC user, um, a lot of people don't talk about this tool, but it's very, very powerful, okay? Now, you can upgrade, but you can use this for free for the most part, right? And all you would do is you, you would just click the download button here, and as soon as you download it, it's going to kind of pop up on your screen and it looks like a lightning, okay? So I'm going to show you how to use this right now. Uh, I'm going to click into it. I, I don't know if you can see this. You may not be able to see this on the screen, but um, you have a choice of capturing, uh, you know, your screen or you can record the full screen or you can record video as well, which is important. So if I, if I click on record video right now, um, I think you can kind of see it on the bottom. It looks kind of weird right now, doesn't it? So I'm just going to kind of move it here um, and I'm going to, Click on the options, all right, and you can choose the different options like, um, you know, do you want to record? Do you re do you want to record the webcam? So do you want to see yourself in in the picture or not, um, or not, or do not record it? Or and, and audio is very important. Okay, so do you have a microphone, or is it going to be a MacBook Pro microphone or whatever you're using right now? So I'm going to choose MacBook Pro, and then all you would do is is you would you know increase the size. Um, of the little window and, and you can't see it very well because my, my recorder is, you know, I'm kind of recording a recording software so it's a little bit weird <laughs> for me to do that but you would just hit record and it would literally record your screen. As simple as that, okay? So that's the first one. That's uh, basically using, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this off right now, um, that's basically using a piece of software called uh, Monosnap, okay? So Monosnap is, is very, very cool. Let me just kind of open up uh, the, the screen a little bit here. Okay, that's good, right? So, so that's that's Mono Snap, right? Um, another one that's really great, um, but this is a paid piece of software. It's called Loom, all right? So Loom is L O O M. So if you just go to L O O M dot com, uh, Loom is what I use for a lot of tutorials. Okay, so so there's a big difference. So Mono Snap, basically, if you record the video, um, you can upload it and and you can share it, but you um, you're gonna have to upgrade in order for you to do that. All right. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit clunky. So if you just want to record your screen and upload that video file or download it onto your computer and then upload that file onto YouTube or, or Vimeo or whatever video hosting service you're using, Monosnap is great. All right. But if you're a coach or a trainer or a course creator and you want to record something on your screen and you want to share it with somebody um, you know, halfway across the world or your students so that they can click on the link and play it straight away. That means you don't need to upload it. You can record it straight away and then you can just share it as a link. I like to use Loom. So, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a coach and a trainer in the affiliate marketing space and basically every time one of my students needs to, uh, you know, they need some instructions, they want me to review something, maybe they want a tutorial, then I use Loom to record my screen, show them what to do, and I just share the link with them straight away, and they can kind of look at it. I don't need to upload it onto YouTube. I don't need to edit it. I don't need to do any of that stuff, which is why I love Loom. It's, it's very, very good, and it's very inexpensive. It's only $10 per month, okay? And, and you can make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So I'll give you an example, right? So if I wanted to record this 
uh, tutorial right now uh, on the screen and share it to, let's just say you're one of my students, I would literally open up the, the, the Loom app, I would click on start recording, it would start recording my screen or whatever I want to do, and then once it's done, it's going to pop up uh, kind of like, um, let, me, let, me, let me just find a little example here. So let's say I'm giving a tutorial on YouTube, right? Um, I would record my screen, and once I'm done with the recording, Loom is going to pop up with this particular screen, and it's going to say, hey, your recording's done, would you like to share the link, right? So all I would do to share the link is I would click on this little anchor icon here, I would click on that, and if I was to go to a new browser and I was to share this to one of my students or my friends or whoever you're trying to share the link to, and I was to post it, and they were to click on it, it would immediately show up on their computer, and they could just play it and watch it. Right? You don't need to download it, you don't need to upload it, you don't need to edit it, you don't need to do anything like that. So I'm just going to play it for two seconds so that you can see how this works. Here, here, and uh, this is just an update, update with regards to the raffle, raffle to get a free uh, Stripe, Stripe account if you are located. In so I did a, a, a you know a tutorial on um, how to get a free Stripe account. Um, that was one of my YouTube videos. And this was kind of my update and I just used Loom to do that, which is very, very cool. Okay, So two different types of softwares. Um, that, that do two slightly different things, okay? Um, again, just to repeat, the first one is Monosnap, and Monosnap is great. You can basically use this for, I would say, the majority of the work that you're trying to use to either capture something on your screen or record your whole screen and either show your face or don't show your face at the same time. Monosnap is great, it's free, just go ahead and Google monosnap.com, okay? If you are more of a trainer and you want to record your screen and then uh, you don't want to upload it, you just want to grab the link and share it with whoever so that they can click on it and watch it as many times as they want. You can use Loom, but Loom is a paid piece of software. And then let me show you how to get a lot more advanced, okay? So uh, I've got a piece of kind of technology that I use where I can kind of flip between screens. So if I wanted to show my face like this, right? I just have to press a button. If I wanted to create an animation like this, you know, with a bit of music or whatever, you can do that too, right? If I wanted like a countdown timer, I could do that too. If I wanted a, a little bit of a ticker on the bottom, I could do that too, right? And then I could show my face again. And then if I wanted to, I could record my screen. I could kind of do like a drawing app. I can do all sorts of different things, all right? Now this setup is slightly different, okay? So this setup is, is um, you know, I use uh, a piece of software called the Elgato Stream Deck. All right, so it's, uh, oh, I'm not sharing my screen right now. So it's called the Elgato Stream Deck, right? And you can buy this on Amazon or whatever e-commerce store based in your home country. Uh, and I'm going to show you a shot of the Stream Deck right now. This is what it looks like when it's sitting on my table, okay? Very, very cool little thing. You can program all the different buttons to do all sorts of different things like, you know, the main shot like this, like a ticker timer, like the countdown timer, like an animation, you know, with money flying down from the sky. There's so many different things that you can do with it. It's very, very cool, okay? Um, and you need to pair that with a piece of software that is called Ecamm, all right? So if you're a Mac user, let me just show you that to you right now. You're going to have to use Ecamm and tie it in with the actual Elgato Stream Deck. And um, you can even plug in your DSLR camera, and that's how I get such a sharp shot. So right now, I'm not using my MacBook Pro camera. Um, I'm actually using a DSLR camera. I'm actually using a Sony, right? So the Sony is kind of on a tripod. It's com you know, coming in directly like that. I've got it linked up to my computer with a Elgato Cam Link that translates the feed. I've got my microphone here, my Rode microphone here. Um, I've got the Stream Deck here, which I just showed you. Um, and that's kind of the thing, uh, you know, right now that manages um, everything that I'm recording right now. But this is advanced and you don't really need to do this, okay? If you want to keep it really simple, just use Monosnap and Monosnap will record your screen and you can use your Mac uh, camera directly on your computer. Um, if you want to do more trainings, you can use a software called Loom, which I showed you earlier. But these are kind of the ways that you can record your screen. There's, there's multiple ways. If you really want to, you could just jump onto uh, Google, right? And you could type out, you know, screen recording for Mac, right? And you're going to find a whole host of different kind of softwares that you can check out if you want. But, but the ones that I like the best are, are the ones I just showed you. Monosnap, Loom, which I use every single day. And then, of course, um, I like to use the Stream Deck with, you know, Ecamm. Um, but this is more of a paid option. It's a bit more expensive. You're going to have to spend probably $300 if you want this particular setup. It's not necessary. Um, but if you want to, you know, upgrade your, your production values to something a little bit more, 
then you might want to do this, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me know in the comment section below if you learned something, if you got some value from this. Again, um, if you got some value, I would appreciate some thumbs ups. And don't forget to subscribe to the page because I'm always coming out with more content that will teach you how to use software and technology like the internet better so that you can generate more income. That's that's really the biggest thing here, right? Um, at the end of the day, look, if you, if you want to be online, you know, you got to be leveraging it to um, be able to, you know, create lots of, content so that you can hopefully generate some sort of side income or a full-time income. So I'm not sure why you want to record your screen, but I hope you got some value from this video today. If you would like to learn how to um, you know, use the computer to record your screen like this, for example, create videos, create content that will actually generate you more income. I've actually got a free six-figure workshop that will show you step-by-step step how I've been able to do that, how I was able to quit my full-time job of 10 years, how I went online, uh, generated a multiple six-figure income, taught thousands of students all over the world how to do the same thing. And if you would like to learn how to do that, go ahead and register for it below. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Hope to see you in another video. Take care and all the best to you.